So KD requesting a trade. Look, bro, I've been watching the media, bro. I'm just trying to see, like, when they going to put some people in the media that got difference of opinions, bro. It's like, and look, me, I'm, I'm watching the game just like how they watching the game, bro. And I can feel, I don't feel like they got to be like, oh, you feel me? Kevin Durant, this is a weak move. And Kyrie Irving ruined the team. And, like, like. Can y'all get somebody else on these shows like First Take, Skip and Shannon, the other one with uh, Malika Andrews? Can we get somebody on these shows with a difference of opinion that feel like, I right, nah, like it was just the whole pandemic, you feel me? Then we was in the bubble. Kyrie didn't play them few games when Kevin Durant was hurt, but Kevin Durant was hurt. Brooklyn Nets wasn't going to do anything anyway. It was smart for Kyrie not to play, you feel me, so he won't get injured. And then after that, you feel me? Kyrie took off for two weeks for the capital shit. Like, that was a big ass incident in American history, bro. Right around the time with George Floyd, right around the time when the election was going on. You feel me? And y'all gonna y'all gonna try to penalize that man for doing that or standing up for that? You feel me? And then this year with the vaccine, standing up to say, like, you can't tell me I have to get the vaccine. You can't just tell me to follow a rule when everything don't make sense behind it. You feel me? How you gonna tell me I can't play home games in Brooklyn, but somebody that's on another team can come to Brooklyn and play home games, but I can't just because I live here? That don't make no sense. So I don't know why they trying to act like his availability for COVID was his fault. That was just a terrible rule about New York, the Capitol incident, and really, during the bubble, it was smart of him not to want to, not to want to play because Kevin Durant was hurt. It's better to keep Kyrie Irving like, you feel me, healthy, right? Am I tripping? Am I tripping? It, it, what it is, bro, and this is what it really is, bro. And like, you feel me? I'm a fan of Stephen A. Smith, bro. I love him. I appreciate everything he's, he's done, his resume and shit. But this is like a personal vendetta between him and Kyrie Irving. And, you know, Stephen A is at the top of the media. So I just don't like how it happened, bro. Because look at the beginning of the year last year. Everybody, look at the beginning of the year last year when they were like, Kyrie didn't get the vaccine. Almost every episode of First Take had to deal with, like, oh, Kyrie is letting KD down. Kyrie don't want to take the vaccine. Kyrie selfish. When, before the season started, Kyrie was like, I'm not taking the vaccine. But they made that about that the whole beginning of the year. And then once they realized that this Brooklyn rule was stupid, then I remember the episode he did it too. Stephen A was like, it's not the vaccine, it's your availability. And then he did that, that became the narrative across the whole media, you feel me? And now they saying Kyrie not available, bro, but that don't make no sense, bro. Ky every game Kyrie, A Kyrie Irving was available to play this year, he, he damn near played. <clears throat> he damn near played. You feel me? It was only because of the vaccine he didn't play no more games. He was healthy. He stayed in shape. He came back in, dropping 40 points. And y'all mad at this man for wanting to get his money? Like, no, bro. Like, I'm a young NBA player, and I'm putting my body on the line. I'm not about to sign no, you feel me, no two-year. You feel me? I opt into this $35 million contract, bro, but I'm I'm looking for a long-term deal. Like, this is, this is going to probably be my, my last big long-term deal contract. And y'all can't get this to me? And then that's when Kevin Durant come in and be like, hey, look, bro, I just signed with y'all for four years. I only came to Brooklyn to play with Kyrie because I love Kyrie's game. You feel me? He's learned a lot from Kyrie. So how else did y'all feel like Kevin Durant was going to feel when y'all did that? You feel me? It's like, all right, folks, trade me then, G. I ain't signed up four years for that. And then now you can't even trust the, the franchise to have your back, bro. I feel like Brooklyn handled this all wrong, bro. You feel me? Because at the beginning, look, they wasn't going to let Kyrie play at all. And then they was like, nah, we changed our mind. You can play home games. And then Brooklyn changed their mind and was like, nah, this, this mandate's stupid. We're going to take away the mandate. Now you can play all games. And they trying to act like that was Kyrie's fault. And then, you know, as a team, the Brooklyn Nets should have stood behind Kyrie and behind Kevin Durant. You feel me? Because Kyrie f fulfilled all his obligations he was supposed to, aside from not being able to play home games, which wasn't his fault. You feel me? So, 
I just wanted to speak on that, bro, because it don't seem like nobody in the media is really bringing that up. All they do is go with this narrative, availability, and then they go into some, you feel me? Uh, Kyrie played in 130 games, and he missed 120 games. But, yeah, bro, if we if you've been watching the league, you know you can't just use that like that. You know how, how much shit been going on these past two, three years, bro? Come on, man. And then y'all want to stop Kyrie from getting this money, and then y'all want to say KD wrong for wanting to go up out of Brooklyn. How can KD ever tr trust the Brooklyn franchise again? You feel me? I'm supposed to be the star player. I'm supposed to be the max player. This is who I want to play with. If y'all sign him to a four-year deal, we can end our careers together. This is one of the best point guards to ever play the game. You feel me? I feel like the Brooklyn Nets should have stood up behind Kyrie Irving, bro. That's my thing, bro. Like, stand up behind your player because everything Kyrie Irving is standing up for is important, bro. Everybody want to go back to this flat earth statement, bro, but, like, come on, man. Come on, man. It's whatever, bro. I just be hoping people don't fall for it, bro. I be seeing people fall for it, like the Brooklyn Nets fell for it. And they was like, nah, we want people that's available. Now you going to – now y'all going to trade James Harden. Then y'all going to – Get rid of Kyrie Irving, and now y'all going to trade Kevin Durant in his prime? Yeah, the Brooklyn Nets, and y'all just trying to look good for the media, bro. Y'all y'all tripping, G. Y'all really tripping, Brooklyn Nets. Y'all really dropped the ball. That's why I'm glad Kyrie Irving still had this one-year deal opt-in, and they kept talking about this $6 million exemption, bro. Come on, bro. Kyrie not stupid, G. I'm not about to give up $30 million. Of course I'm going to opt-in. But now it's like, you feel me? Y'all didn't have my back, and it's like, you feel me? All right, now I got to get try to get traded to the Lakers. I'm going to opt into this deal, but now the whole team breaking up, and the best thing Kevin Durant could ask for is a trade. You feel me? So I'm hoping Kyrie Irving end up getting traded. It's, it's looking like he's going to go to the Lakers for uh, Russell Westbrook, and I'm hoping Kevin Durant get traded to a good team, and then next year after Kyrie Irving fulfill his obligations, then him and KD can play together. Or if the Lakers can somehow pull off the trade – for Kyrie Irving, Anthony Davis, for no, for, for Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, for Anthony Davis and Russell Westbrook. If they could pull that off, then uh, you feel me? I feel like that'd be a good ass team. That'd be damn. Now that's the super team: LeBron, KD, and Kyrie. Sheesh. <laughs>